Okay, now let's get back to where we were. Rex's armor is impregnable. You can't do any damage with the weapons you've got. Rex uses the latest advances in compound armor. The only way you can pierce it is with a high-performance heat round. So what do I do? Rex's pilot seat operates exactly like a VR system. It's got multiple sensors connected to a high-tech interface used for the controls. It's completely the, the drawer right, right under the machine. Shut off from the outside. The drawer right, right under the machine. Not using his naked eyes. That's right. Oh wait, Phil. Phil. So Phil. you could somehow destroy the sensors. Do you see that round plate on Rex's left arm? Yeah. That thing that looks like a shield. That's a radon. If you can destroy that thing, it won't be able to use its electronic equipment. So it'll be blinded. Yeah. Try to hit that radon with a stinger missile. So will that stop it? No. Rex was designed so it can be controlled manually, too. Oh, great. The part that looks like a beak is where the pilot seat is. In an emergency, it will open up. Rex's armor is perfect. You can't destroy it. You told me that already. But the interior is a different story. I get it. First, I destroy the radome. That will force him to open up the pilot seat. Right. If you can shoot a missile into the cockpit, you'll destroy the computer control system. You intentionally designed it with a weak point? It's not a weak point. More like a weakness. People and weapons just aren't very appealing without a weakness of some kind. Don't you think? Uh, I guess so. I owe you one, Otacon. Run, 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 run. Get out of the way immediately. Okay, now it's being controlled by a computer, like a electronics. Chaff grenade. Fire. Getting hit by those missiles, you're gonna get heavily damaged. Heavily. Even I think even with the body armor, you get hurt a lot. I like how the uh, uh, Rex on the radar is actually like polygons without any uh, detail or anything. Yeah, in the PS1 version, it was, it was really hard to dodge because of Snake's running speed. I think you would almost always get hit by the missiles unless uh, you just, well, I guess we were just running the whole time. I really love this song. Although we even went body armor, look how much damage that took. Remember, body armor doubles your defense. Come on. 
Give me a clear shot. Got it. I think later down the line I'll play the PS1 version too, just to make it a bit, just to make things uh, a bit fair, I guess. She's hell-bent on taking revenge for you. Naomi. You're the only one who can stop her. No, I can't. Why? Because I'm the one who killed her parents. I was young then, and couldn't bring myself to kill her, too. Oh, I felt so bad that I decided to take her with me. I raised her like she was my own blood, to soothe my guilty conscience. Even now, she thinks of me as her brother. Fox. Outwardly, we may have seemed like contented brother and sister. But every time I looked into her eyes, I trembled with fear. Tell her for me. Tell her that I was the one who did it. There you are! We're just about out of time. Here's a final present from Deep Throat. I'll stop it from moving. Fox! Mega Buster. Come on, Fox. Help us, Fox. Cornered Fox is more 
more dangerous than a jackal! Impressive! You are indeed worthy of the codename Fox, but now you're finished! Now, fire the stinger! Fox! Can you really shoot? You'll kill him too! Now, in front of you, I can finally die. It's no good. I can't After do it. The sands of our land. I was taken from the battle. It's no good. Neither truly I can't alive, do it. Nor truly dead. An undying shadow in a world of light. But soon, soon it will finally end. I mean, I mean, he doesn't want to kill Fox. Of, uh, uh, of course, he doesn't want to shoot. Uh, Snake, we're not tools of the government or anyone else. Fighting was the only thing, the only thing I was good at. But at least. I always fought for what I believed in. Snake! Farewell. Fox! Fox. Foolish man! When death is entreated, The battle is decided. You see, you can't protect anyone. Not even yourself. President Baker's top secret files. Rex has a free electron laser mounted on its belly. It's a laser weapon that discharges a laser beam into an electron beam that's been accelerated using giant magnets. It can generate an incredible amount of energy, pretty close to 100 megawatts. That's 10 times greater than any other laser out there. Anyway. Did I equip the Nikata by accident? Uh, thanks, so.
Oh, you're gonna take him for a walk real quick? Because uh, right after this fight, then another cutscene and then one final fight. to dust! Glad you can make it, dude. Uh, make it again. I'm. I won't die. Done fighting. Fighting? What are you really after? The restoration of the era when warriors such as us lived as we should. That was Big Boss's fantasy. It was his dying wish. When he was young, during the Cold War, the world needed men like us. We were valued then. We were desired. But things are different now. With all the liars and hypocrites running the world, war isn't what it used to be. We're losing our place in a world that no longer needs us. A world that now spurns our very existence. You should know that as well as I do. After I launch this weapon and get our billion dollars, we'll be able to bring chaos and honor back to this world gone soft. Conflict shall breed conflict, new hatreds will arise, and our own biosphere shall steadily expand. But as long as there are people, there will always be war. But the problem is balance. Father knew what type of a balance was best. Is that the only reason? Isn't that reason enough for warriors such as us? I don't want that kind of world. Ha! You lie! So why are you here then? Why do you continue to follow your orders while your superiors betray you? Why did you come here? Well, I'll tell you then. You enjoy all the killing, that's why. What? Are you denying it? Haven't you already killed most of my comrades? That was... <laughs> I, I watched your face as you delivered the coup de grace. Oh, it reflected such vitality. You're wrong! There is a killer inside you. You don't have to deny it. We were created to be that way. Created? Les enfants terribles. The terrible children. That's what the project was called. It started in the 1970s. Their plan was to artificially create the most powerful soldier possible. The person that they chose as the model was a man known then as the greatest living soldier in the world. Big Boss. But, Father was wounded in combat, and already in a coma when they brought him in. So, they created us from his cells. With a combination of 20th century analog cloning and 
The super baby method. Super baby method? They fertilized an egg with one of father's cells. And then, let it divide into eight clone babies. Then they transferred the clones to someone's uterus, and later intentionally aborted six of the fetuses to encourage strong fetal growth. You and I were originally octuplets. Octuplets? Yes. The other six of our brothers were sacrificed to make us. We were accomplices in murder before the day we were even born. So, it was you and I. Two fertilized eggs with exactly the same DNA. But, they weren't finished yet. They used me as a guinea pig to create a phenotype in which all of the dominant genes were expressed to create you. I got all the recessive genes. You took everything from me before I was even born. But you and I aren't his only children. What? The genome soldiers. They too are his progeny, carrying on his genetic legacy. But unlike us, they carry it digitally. With the completion of the Human Genome Project in the last century, the mysteries of humanity were laid bare. Thanks to Father's DNA, they were able to identify more than 60 soldier genes responsible for everything from strategic thinking to the proverbial killer instinct. Those soldier genes were transplanted using gene therapy into the members of the next generation special forces. That's how they became the genome soldiers. That's right. The genome soldiers that you've been killing right and left are our brothers with the same genes as ours. The genome soldiers? They are misshapen creatures, artificially produced from father's genetic pattern. They are our blood brothers, and they were born of many an ultimate sacrifice. Sacrifices? Human experiments. Huh? 1991, the Gulf War. The military secretly injected soldiers with the soldier genes. The Gulf War syndrome that hundreds of thousands of returning soldiers complained about was a side effect of it. Ha! Everyone knows that the Gulf War syndrome was caused by exposure to pesticides and radiation from depleted uranium rounds. <laughs> that was just a cover story issued by the Pentagon. First, they tried to say it was post-traumatic stress disorder, then chemical or biological weapons. The poison gas detection units and the anti-serin injections, they were all just to cover up the secret genetic experiments. So then, the so-called Gulf War babies that have been reported by Gulf War veterans are... Yes, they too are our brothers and sisters. So the genome soldiers mean that the experiments were a success? Success? Don't be a fool. They're a complete failure. We're on the verge of extinction. What? Have you ever heard of the asymmetry theory? Nature tends to favor asymmetry. Those species which have gone extinct all show signs of symmetry. The genome soldiers suffer from the same problem. Signs of symmetry. So do I, as do you. That's right. We are all on the verge of death at the genetic level. We don't know when or what type of disease will occur. That's why we need the old man's genetic information. You want Big Boss's DNA so you can save your family? It's very touching. <laughs> In nature, family members don't mate with each other, and yet they help each other to survive. Do you know why? 
because it increases the chances that shared genes will be transmitted to future generations. Altruism among blood relatives is a response to natural selection. That we will help our blood relatives is inscribed in our very genes. You're telling me that your genes are ordering you to save the genome soldiers? You can't fight your genes. It's fate. All living things are born for the sole purpose of passing on their parents' genes. That's why I'll follow what my genes tell me. And then, I'm okay. going to go beyond, yeah, in order to break the curse of my heritage. And to do that, first, Is that what I'm I'm like it? <laughs> kill you. Yeah. Look behind you. Meryl? Anyone following me on Twitter? I apologize if my Twitch stream got tweeted like 20 times or so. Is she alive? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. She was alive a few hours ago. Poor girl kept calling your name. Meryl. Stupid woman. Falling in love with a man who doesn't even have a name. I have a name. No. We have no past, no future. If we did, our fate is nothing but what is determined in the genes we inherited from our father. Let Meryl go. As soon as we finished our business, we're almost out of time. You're talking about Fox Die. No. It seems now that the Pentagon knows that Metal Gear is destroyed. They've arrived at a decision. They won't even need a BDA. If you want the details, why don't you ask your precious Colonel Campbell? Colonel, can you hear me? Yes, I'm listening. What is the Pentagon trying to do? Colonel, answer me! The Secretary of Defense has taken over active control of this operation. He's on his way there by AWACS. What for? To bomb the place. What? Not only that, B-2 bombers just lifted off from Galena Air Force Base. They're carrying B-6113 surface-piercing tactical nuclear bombs. What? Metal Gear is destroyed. Tell the Secretary of Defense. The Secretary of Defense heard that Naomi double-crossed us, and he's worried about Fox Die. Now that there's no more danger of a nuclear strike from Metal Gear, he's going to do whatever's necessary to cover up the truth of what really happened here. He's going to drop a nuclear bomb to vaporize all the evidence, along with anyone who knows anything. Don't worry, Snake. I'll stop the nuclear strike. How? I may be only a figurehead here, but I'm still officially in command of this mission. If I issue an order to delay the strike, it'll confuse the chain of command and at least buy you some time. It'll give you a chance to escape. But Colonel, if you do that... It's okay, Snake. The truth is, Foxhound was already the subject of an undercover investigation. Merrill was transferred to this base just before the terrorist attack as a way of manipulating me. Those bastards. I'm sorry. They forced me to cooperate in exchange for her life. You'd better get out of there, Snake. Are you sure? It'll be bad for you. Don't worry. It's the least I can do for you after all the lies. Colonel. I'm ordering them to cancel the bombing run. After that, there's no turning back. Huh? What are you doing? Uh-oh. Snake! Mei Ling, what happened to the Colonel? I don't believe it. What happened? Snake, the Colonel! Roy Campbell has been relieved of duty. This is the Secretary of Defense, Jim Hausman. Put the Colonel back on. He's been placed under arrest for leaking top secret information and for the crime of high treason. Ridiculous. Yes, he is a ridiculous man. He truly believed that he was in command of this operation. You bastard. There won't be a speck of evidence left. I'm sure the president would want the same thing. 
the president the people this. that like the stream the president so about to is a busy more. man i have complete as as we're done, I'm gonna block here. all these stupid spam How bots plan on explaining a nuclear attack on alaska to the media don't worry we've prepared a convincing cover story we'll simply say that the terrorists exploded a nuclear device damn it you'll be murdering everyone here the scientists the genome army everyone Donald, the DARPA chief is already dead. So you didn't mean to kill the DARPA chief after all. He was my friend. And you could care less about what happens to everybody else, huh? Well, if you give me the optic disc, I might consider saving them. What are you talking about? Metal Gear's test data. Donald was supposed to bring it back. I don't have it. I see. Oh, well, that's okay. You two are an embarrassment from the 1970s. Our country's dirty little secret. You can't be allowed to live. You're just the lingering ghosts of a system that is no more. Well, do try to get along in the time you have left before the bomb. Oh, there's no way out for us. Let's finish this before the airstrike. You stole everything from me. I shall nullify you and your genes, and I will take them all back. She'll make a beautiful sacrifice for our final battle. Do you see this? This will be the time limit for our final battle. <clears throat> when death comes for this girl, this nuclear module shall vanish from this world as well. If you win, you might still be able to save her. You could enjoy one brief moment of love before the end. Yes. And if you cross this line, you'll fall. Obviously. At this height, it'll kill even you. Snake! Is Yoshi's Star still here? Yep, uh, I think he's still here. Yep. <laughs> Yep, and then the original PS1 version, you can just infinite combo him, right? What's wrong, Snake? Mine. Oh, I have grip level two. I'm good. I mean, not that it makes a difference, but I should probably not dive at him like that. So I'll dive at him like that. You can't throw him, can you? Oh! Oh, that didn't damage him, though, did it? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Did he drop himself? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, on Twitter, like, like so many people would pit with pictures of walls and stuff. Like, oh, like, oh god. Can I get this in a few seconds? Yeah, I gotta stop knocking him over. That, that's a. Uh... Same time. Come on. Alright, two more hits. Come on. I think he fell off. <laughs> he fell off again. Like, just by himself. Uh, I would have loved to have, for the game to have taken a few more seconds to black out. Okay, I definitely got that on the clutch. That was close. Yeah, that was. But yeah, game match uh, ran off on Twitter. I'm about to block them a little bit. You could tell they're spam bots. All you have to do is look at their pages. Like, you want to get 1,000 tweets in a few hours? <laughs> or in an hour, or whatever? Like, are you kidding me, man? Like a spam. Oh, here it, is. it says go from four to one thousand like live viewers in uh, today. That's and that's the only thing on their page. So you know what? Screw it. I'm, I'm going to start blocking them right now while it's, it's playing this cutscene. Meryl. Meryl. Snake? Is that you? She's alive. Snake, you're alive. Thank God. Meryl. Meryl, are you okay? Are you okay? Is that all you can say? Meryl, <clears throat> you must have been terrible. But it wasn't nice. that bad. I didn't give in to the torture. Torture? I don't, I don't go for people that don't exist. And things even worse than that. I was fighting too. Just like you. Stupid spam bots. You're a strong woman. Fighting them made me feel closer to you. I felt like you were there with me. It gave me the strength to go on. But I was scared. I'm sorry. Don't say that. But it made me realize something. During all the pain and shame, there was one thing I was sure of. <clears throat> a single hope that I held on to. And that hope kept me alive. Hearing her describe it like that reminds me of a, Snake. reminds me of a person that I actually know I'd in real life. To see Who again. is that strong? Meryl. I think I'll talk about that person later. Because I'll tell you this, without that person, I would not be where I am right now. At all. Shoot. Very deep. <laughs> my codec snake. 
Snake, it's me. <clears throat> it looks like you stopped Rex. Otacon, good news. Meryl's okay. All right. You saved her, man. Good job. Yeah, I got some bad news, too. We're about to be bombed. Oh, boy. I guess we're considered expendable. Is there a way out of here? A way out? Uh, yeah. You can take the loading tunnel to the surface. There's a parking garage right next to you. The tunnel leads from there to the surface. The door in front? No, it's a small entrance to the west of that door. How about the security? I just unlocked it. Who do you think you're talking to? I'll take care of security along your escape route, too. What are you going to do? Me? I... I'll stay here. Are you crazy? I need a little more time to take care of your escape route. But... Unlocking the security doors is difficult work. Only I can do it. Otacon. Don't worry. I'm staying here. It's my own decision. Otacon, this is a hardened shelter, but they're gonna use a surface-piercing nuclear bomb. It won't hold. I'm through regretting the past. Life isn't all about loss, you know? Snake, Seriously? I'm a complete person now. I don't care how many I've things I've found a get. reason to live. Good. Don't die on me. Same to you. Take care of Meryl, okay? I will. Okay, I gotta go. I promise I'll do something about your escape route. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, that sounds nice. I believe in you. Thanks, Snake. Seriously. My, I, I don't care what they got. Let's get the hell spam out of here. Spam bots or spam bots. Annoying. What about him? Where is Otacon? <clears throat> He's fighting right now. With his old self. To be the man he wants to be. He's fighting for us too? Yeah, and I don't want it to be in vain. Me too. Looks like we're not going to have a love scene after all. Looks that way. Too bad. <sighs> Let's get out of here. Snake, it's freezing outside. You need some clothes. Sneaking suit. Hurry up. Hurry. Oh, what she's wearing now? Yeah. No idea, Phil. No idea. The world may never know. Mm, looking good, Snake. Kinky, now hurry up. Okay. I'm gonna leave the volume up a little because, uh, well, stuff is gonna happen in a second. Hurry! Just making sure there's anything else over here. Right, goodbye, Rex. For now. And look at. He looked with me. He took all of my stuff. They took my body armor. Mm -hmm. They took my double defense, Phil. I know. Not even Zelda takes her your double defense. No, she doesn't.
fashion. Good going. That loss is here. That loss is. How you doing? We just dropped some frames. Poor guys. It took us like five months, but we beat the game. <laughs> I didn't really know what this was Right 
right arm, right? Oh, he lasted longer than the DARPA juice. Eh, yeah. uh, decoy octopus. Yeah. AKA, AKA not Donald Anderson. AKA not Sigurd. Yeah. If he's dead, that means. No, don't say it, Snake. What happened to the air raid? Phil. So? Number. No stealth bombers in what? sight. Number. What? Your number. Oh. Your, your lucky number. Snake, can you hear me? Colonel! Are you okay? Colonel, what happened? The Secretary of Defense has been arrested. Early retirement. Arrested? I was able to get into contact with the President. Metal Gear, the training exercise, all of it. It was all the Secretary of Defense acting alone. Acting alone? What happened to the air raid and the nuclear strike? The orders were rescinded. The F-117s and the B-2 bombers have returned to the base. Once again, I have complete authority over this operation. Good shit. I see. Washington isn't stupid enough to use nukes to cover up a few secrets. I wonder about that. Mm -hmm. In any case, the danger's over. Thanks, Snake. Colonel, you can rest easy. Meryl's fine. Really? Thanks. Thank you, Snake. Snake, I'm sorry I kept a lot of things from you. It's okay, Colonel. Snake, I'm not a Colonel. Oh, that's right. I've got a present for you. There's a snowmobile close to you. Mei Ling saw it on the satellite photos. This time of year, the glaciers are pretty calm. You should be able to ride right out of there. I'll bet the boys at the DIA and the NSA never expected you to come home alive. Me neither. I'd better not show my face around there. No danger of that. You two officially died after your jeep sank into the ocean. <laughs> That's not too far from the truth. There's also a helicopter waiting for you at the Fox Islands. Dr. Hal Emmerich should be somewhere on the base. I want someone to bring him in. I understand. Leave it to me. Okay. Roy. Are you going to be okay? Don't worry. I've got an insurance policy. A hard copy of all of Mei Ling's data. As long as I've got that, you, me, and Mei Ling will be fine. The battery on these nanomachines will run out soon. They won't be able to follow us. I guess we won't meet again. Don't worry. I'll pay you a visit sometime. Really? I'll look forward to that. Roy, just tell me one thing. What? About Fox Die. Meryl will be fine. She wasn't included in its programming. What about me? It killed Liquid. Naomi said she wants to talk to you face to face about that. How is she? Don't worry. Mei Ling's with her right now. I'm switching over to Naomi. Snake, it's me. Naomi? I heard... about my brother. Uh, Fox, no. Frank wanted to tell you something. He told me to tell you to forget about him, and to go on with your own life. Oh, shit. Frankie said that? Yeah. He also said he'll always love you. Naomi... Your brother just saved you, so me, so and the whole dumb. world. He fought on sheer willpower until the very end. Maybe... Maybe now he's finally found some peace. My brother was already dying. Ever since he fought with you in Zanzibar land, he's been like a ghost. A ghost looking for a place to die. Liquid died from Fox Die too. What about me? When am I going to go? That's up to you. 
What do you mean? Everybody dies when their time's up. Yeah, so when's mine up? It's up to you how you use the time left to you. Live, Snake. That's all I can say to you. Each person is born with their fate written into their own genetic code, inscribed into their genes. But that's not all there is to life. I finally realized that. I told you before, the reason that I was interested in genes and DNA. Because I wanted to know who I was, where I came from. I thought that if I analyzed my DNA, I could find out who I was, who my parents were. And I thought that if I knew that, then I'd know what path I should take in life. But I was wrong. I didn't find anything. I didn't learn anything. <coughs> Just like with the genome soldiers, you can input all the genetic information, but that doesn't make them into the strongest soldiers. The most we can say about DNA is that its genetic information houses a person's strengths or destiny. You mustn't allow yourself to be chained to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. Snake, whether you've been programmed or not isn't important. The important thing is that you choose life. And then live. Don't you think, Snake? Don't worry. I'm gonna choose life too. Until today, I've always looked for a reason to live. But from now on, I'm going to just live. Genes exist to pass down our hopes and dreams for the future through our children. Living is a link to what will come. All life is tethered to the future. Loving each other, teaching each new generation, then the world can change. I finally realized it. The true meaning of life. Thank you, Snake. Look, I found this. Let's keep it as a reminder. Of what? A reminder of a successful mission? Or a reminder of the first time we met? A reminder of how to live. Huh? Until today, I've lived only for myself. My survival instinct that tells me not to die. That's all the motive I've had in my life. That's not just you. That's how everyone is. I only felt truly alive when I was staring death in the face. I don't know. Maybe it's written into my genes. What about now? What do your genes say about your future now? Maybe it's time I live for someone else. Someone else? Yeah. Someone like you. Maybe that's the real way to live. So, where to, Snake? David. My name is David. <laughs> okay, so where to, Dave? Hmm. I think it's time we look for a new path in life. A new path? A new purpose. Will we find it? We'll find it. <laughs> I know we'll find it. Hey, what are those? Caribou. To the illusions, the caribou is a symbol of life. It'll be spring here soon. For us, too. Yeah. Spring brings new life to everything. It 
it's a time for hope. I've lived here a long time, but Alaska has never looked more beautiful. The sky, the sea, the caribou, and most of all, you. It's nice, isn't it? Being alive. Come on. Let's enjoy life. <laughs> Look who's here. We haven't seen him in months. Holy Mercy. Shit. Mercy! Where have you been? <clears throat> in 1980, oh, damn it. In January 1993, SAR-2 was signed, and the United States and Russia agreed to reduce the number of deployed nuclear warheads 3,000 to 3,500 in each nation by the end of the year 2007. However, as of 2003, there, are, there still exists more than 20,000 nuclear warheads in the world. Well, if anyone still has time to kill and you're bored, we're gonna play Shadow the Hedgehog after this. Uh -huh. I'm pretty sure everybody loves that game. <laughs> hmm? Yeah, Mike. Don't know, little me. I'm, tr I'm trying to contemplate how am I gonna sur survive. I haven't even practiced that yet. It's something that needs to be practiced. Good luck. Oh, that lost it last time. Well, here, Mike. Okay, so being that you played all that, I'll, I'll play Shadow of the Hedgehog. You could be my player, too. <laughs> anyway, anyway, Mercy, how you, uh, how you doing, dude? Uh, we haven't seen you in... Uh, in ages, I mean, I, I have you on Steam, but sometimes I don't, I don't even see you online on Steam. Uh, uh, we, we, you worry us, man. <sighs> as soon as I saw your name, I, I, I literally floated out of this bed. What? F Phil doesn't know how I did it, but I floated. Mhm. Mm Cause I'm just like, whoa! I was blown away. You're so corny. I. <laughs> <sighs> Shall we enjoy the scenery? Such CGI. Uh, well, actually, I mean, uh, actually, technically, this was an FMV. I know. <laughs> oh, let me see how long the credits. A very are. low quality one. Well, I mean, it's kind of stri it's technically stretched out. Everything else was in was in a uh, real widescreen. I mean, well, it's you know. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> this damn song brought me the friggin' tears in in, in part four. Yeah, I'm not afraid to admit it. I cried. Especially part four. That game tugged at my heartstrings way more than it should have. Okay, the, the the credits are about five minutes. Especially the ending. Uh, the, the, these credits are here about five minutes, so we'll get through it quick. Anyway, so, uh, sorry for my hand. I'm back in style. I might work for me too. Really? Yo, so, you know, you're gonna give us, like, you know, that top secret info, right? Nah. No, nah, besides so, hell yeah, he is. No, nah, so, so, so someone else kind of lost their job because uh, someone who was part of the Nintendo Treehouse lost their job because uh, they, they kind of made a small insult towards uh, the Nintendo fan base. Even though, oh yeah, I yeah, I remember that. Yeah, but I but but real talk, Mercy. I I hope you get that job. I, I'm pretty sure you've been working hard, dude. And uh, we're definitely glad glad to see you again. Also, Waifu got voted into Smash. Oh, Bayonetta. Bayonetta. Oh. 
Well, you can get quiet back. But she's she's literally there in spirit when you get her back. I mean, yeah, she's still dead, but you know, you can still get her back and have her as your buddy. I mean, even though I still use the friggin' dog anyway, but you know, still. Also, uh, um, uh, Jose, uh, Mega Man NG, th th uh, thanks again for watching. I, I have no idea if you're still there, but thank you for the, uh, for the support as well. But yeah, uh, this being that that's the stream cut off, this is technically video number 1002. And Shadow the Hedgehog's gonna be number 1003. Oh, boy. Zone of the Enders. Hit that milestone, baby. Zone of the Enders? No, Mike, Zone of the Enders. <sighs> Also, uh, Dark Farman. Hmm? It's not the same. Dr. Farman said it's not the same. Did, did this play during the credits too in GS4? Or did it play at, at another section? It's, it's been a while since I beat MGS4. Uh, I know I know it played as soon as you like as soon as you entered Shadow Moses, it, it played. The Otacon name is used with the permission of Otacor. Oh, so are you gonna you're gonna be a, a, a PR person? Uh, is that what you're gonna be, uh, Mercy? Mercy. He is gonna be a representative for New Mexico. Yo, tell Sakurai to buff Link for Smash Five. <laughs> yeah, that was his name, Chris P uh, Chris Pranger. That was his name. What? Well, Hashtag buff link and hashtag nerf Greninja. Yeah, I think this is the guy right here. <sighs> you mustn't allow yourself to be chained oh. to fate, to be ruled by your genes. Humans can choose the type of life they want to live. Snake, whether you've been programmed or not isn't important. The important thing is that you choose life. Ooh, um, and G says and he's going into. Live. He's going to be in the press too. Ooh, plot, plot, plot. Yes, sir. The entire unit was wiped out. Yes, yes, sir. Thanks to the vaccine. Yes, those two are still alive. The vector. Yes, sir. Fox die should become activated soon. Right on schedule. Yes, sir. I recovered all of Rex's dummy warhead data. No, there are no other records. They've all been deleted from the base's computer. No, sir. My cover is intact. Nobody knows who I really am. Yes, the DARPA chief knew my identity, but he's been disposed of. <laughs> Yes, yes, Liquid is dead. The inferior one was the winner after all. That's right. Until the very end, Liquid thought he was the inferior one. Of course, the other one thinks so too. Yes, sir, I agree completely. It takes a well-balanced individual such as yourself to rule the world. Yes, yes, sir. No, sir. No one knows that you were the third one. Solidus. What should I do about the woman? Yes, sir. I understand. The surveillance will continue. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. President. Turn to be yeah right. I'm not going on there. I'm a hyena. Let's see. It's like six and a half hours. Uh, more than six and a half hours. Oh, six, we only saved ten times. Six and three quarters of an hour. Uh, I continue. I died twice. Well, I mean, alerted twenty I'm, times. Well, well, weren't both of those deaths like on purpose death though? I think so. Might yeah. maybe. Alert mode twenty. Kills. Uh, I. Have have those I blame on me because I just told you to snap everybody's neck. <laughs> but yes, Konami is the devil. Yes, I remember when people were saying Alcon was the devil for kids. Hmm. 
Oh man, what oh, a mama, man. what a wild ride! And it's it's only about to hit midnight, but uh, we ain't done yet. Oh no, we're not. So many save files. Well, it's only eleven, but still, so many save files. Oh man. <laughs> okay, yeah, man. Ocelot is like the the guy behind so much shit in the series. He's a prominent. And you, and you wanna know what's funny? What's up? He's been in... He's been in more... MG... He's been in more games in the Metal Gear... In the Metal Gear series... Than the individual snakes. Extreme. Oh, hard extreme. <laughs> like, seriously, he, he's been in all the numbered titles. Game Over with Discovery. Not a Game Over with Discovery. Been in, uh... <laughs> shall we, shall we look at this real quick? No. Yes. All right, we can skip. Plus, I, I just want to see. I want, I want them to discover me, so then I can break their neck. Plus, I think you take a lot of damage during this as well. He saw me and I crushed his neck. Good shit. Snake, are you okay? Because you wouldn't want to do. I wanted to, to punch, run, turn around, punch, run, turn around, punch, run, turn around. Okay, that guy was smart. Yeah, nothing's wrong with playing, but that's for us. Do you two? Yeah, you have, you have to be like really well, uh, decently well known on YouTube if you want to get review copies of stuff. I miss watching you guys lose your, lose your, <laughs> our minds in Hyrule Warriors. Man, I miss you missing our, our minds. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. Once the Legend stuff comes out for for the Wii U version, oh, it's a done deal. <laughs> so, Snake, can we torture ourselves okay? now? Alright, give me Snake. give me like 30 more seconds. I, I want to... Okay, I'm going to break one guard's neck so I can mess with the other guy. How does he not friggin' see you? Snake. <laughs> I hate the guards in the game. Okay, next game. <laughs> Switch games. Wait, uh, wait, but before you do, uh, can I add a picture while we're while we're moving? If not, I have to hit the quit button. I, I wanted to add like a standby picture. Like we'll be back in a second. <laughs> Mm. What's up? Wait, no, okay, camera's up here. What's up? Wait, is there, like, can you just add any picture from the computer? Maybe. Uh, let's see. Oh, frame drops. I'm dropping frames. My face is dropping frames. If so, being that for the game that we're about to play, I know a good picture. What? What do you got in mind? You know my avatar on Skype? <laughs> 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 That's okay. the perfect picture to use. Okay, first we actually have to stop the stream so that this could be its own video. Yeah, so we'll be right back, guys. We'll be back.